welcome back to my channel. I'm Joan and this is Joan's Point at Plate. Today is Wednesday, which means that is a weigh-in and meeting highlights. Actually, there is no weigh-in today because I did not go to my workshop last night. Adam had a swim meet last night and it was right during workshop time, so I did not weigh in this week. I did weigh in on my scale at home and I stayed the same again this week. I was really hoping to drop a pound, but I didn't, so that's okay too. But I will bring you the meeting highlights later today and a full day of eating. So that's that. Let's get started on our day. This is gonna be a quick video today, I promise. Here is breakfast this morning. It is a take on Kim over at a girl on her phone. She made um, sausage gravy breakfast bowls and oh, they looked amazing. So I knew I had to do them. So what I have here is two points worth of hash browns under there. I'm not sure if you can see the shredded hash browns. Then I have two scrambled eggs and then I have sausage gravy on top of that. And what I did, um, Kim used a mix called Pioneer Gravy Mix. We can't get that around here. So I just made my regular sausage gravy recipe. Um, I made my own homemade turkey sausage and then did the flour and the milk, etc., and used that. So there's a half a cup of that. So it's two points for the potatoes, zero points for the eggs, and two points for the sausage gravy. That's all on green. I mean, I'm sorry, it's all on blue. Oh, these colors. On purple, the potatoes and eggs would both be zero, and the sausage gravy would be two. And on green, the potatoes would be two, the eggs would be four, and the sausage gravy would be, I believe, three. So there is my breakfast, and for me on blue, it is four points. On purple, it would be two points. And on green, it would be uh, four, nine points. So there you have it. I cannot wait to dig in. It looks amazing. Thank you, Kim, for that awesome idea. It is lunchtime, but I am absolutely not hungry yet. That breakfast completely filled me up. But I have a special visitor. Ah, oh, the sunshine. Wait, the sunshine. You can't have to move. I look brought the ray of sun. Look, it look beams when I come in. <gasps> this oh, would be. That's me. That's her. And guess what? I, I am going to have lunch now because look, let me show you what she brought me. Because she's the best. She is the best. The best. She is the best. Look what she brought me. <gasps> Cut off fruit salad. Cut off fruit salad. And, and she's not allergic to it. I'm not allergic Because I usually to... mess that up all the time. She tries to feed me apples every day. There is nothing in there I can't mm -hmm. have because there's no pit fruit. There's so that will apple. definitely be part of my lunch today. But wait. In my defense, she brings me fruit salad, and what did I give you? Cake. Yeah. Yeah, a little yeah. unbalanced there, yes. don't you think? very unbalanced. But it's only four points a slice. It's the banana cake that I made. Oh, man, that is I wicked. I know. It's like, it's me. I'm just, I'm just angelic. Yes, she's Aww. angelic. No, I see the ray. Every time you see me, it's, it's, it's no, closed. She's got careful. Trust me on this one. Trust me on this one. So yes, she bought me a beautiful looking fruit platter and I hooked her up with some tea and some cake. So yeah, that's what we do. That is what we do. I bring the good stuff, she brings the bad stuff. Yes, and she convinced me to do a cook with me on my dinner tonight. Mm -hmm. It's pretty easy and I don't want to insult anybody's intelligence by like doing a cook with me with it, but you know, it's easy, but it's good. So I'll definitely do that. So say goodbye, Denise. Well, I really come to see the cat and the dog. I know, and I'm not even a cat person. Yeah, she doesn't come to see me, but I get it. Yeah. It's okay. She came to see- That's so Chloe. Thank you, Chloe. She didn't come to see me. She came to pick up cake. Don't even let her lie to you. I came to pick up cake, Chloe. Oh, now see, she talked to Chloe. Hey, Ari. Now Aria comes, oh, and now nice. Chloe gets mad. Nice. And the cat's there. Everybody came to see Dish with D. That's me. <laughs> I was not hungry at all for lunch. But around 3 o'clock, yeah, I'm starting to get a little bit hungry. So I just decided to grab a Built Bar because kind of got a little sweet tooth going on too. So I am having a coconut almond Built Bar. It's already out of the package and sitting on the cutting board. 
I keep my Bilt Bars in the freezer, so I take them out and let them sit about 10 minutes and I cut them into bite-sized pieces and eat them that way. I don't know why, it's just what I do. But this coconut almond is one of my absolute favorites. It is three points. If you've never had a Bilt Bar before, they are a protein bar that tastes like a candy bar. They have a very marshmallowy center. People either seem to love them or hate them. They're covered with real dark chocolate and I personally think they're delicious. If you are ever interested in trying Bilt Bar, they are running a little special right now. You can click on the link below and that will get you 10% off and free shipping. It's always free shipping. But here's what you do. You click on the link, it'll take you to their website and in the search bar, you type in best sellers. It is a kind of like a hidden code, hidden link. And then you can get a six pack sample box for $10 and then another 10% off using my discount code. So it's a good way to try them. And if you've never used the link, even if you've bought Built Bars before, you can still use this link. It is one per household. So if you've done it before, you can't do it again. But if you've never done it, even if you've purchased full boxes of Built Bars, you can do it. And they're great. With our discount, the full boxes come down to about $1.82 per bar, which is pretty good for a protein bar. They usually run about $2 a bar, except the ones, the RX bars my husband loves that are like $4 a bar. But anyway, just thought I would put that out there. To let you know it's something that I love, it satisfies the sweet tooth, plus it's actually pretty good for you. And now I need to go think about finishing up dinner. Dinner tonight is saltine pork chops, and apparently there's something really funny going on over there. <laughs> saltine pork chops, sweet potato, and a cauliflower blend of vegetables. The saltine pork chop is six points. It is a four ounce pork chop. The sweet potato is three and a half ounces, so that is about three points, and the vegetables are zero. It is a nine-point dinner tonight. I do have a cook with me on the saltine pork chops. They are quick, easy, and use very few ingredients, so make sure you check that out. I will link it below. Okay, finally, some time to go over the meeting topic. Um, I already told you my way in this morning that I did not weigh in officially at my WW workshop because we had a swim meet. I did jump on my scale at home and I stayed the same. My scale's not always the same as the Weight Watcher scale. Mine tends to weigh a little bit heavier, like a pound. So I'm hoping I did go down a pound, but who knows, but I'm still in my happy place and that's all that matters to me is as long as I'm in that happy place and under goal, of course, or at goal. Um, what else did I want to tell you before I get into the meeting topic? Oh, um, new feature on my website, thanks to my fantastic IT girl, um, you know who you are, Kim. You can now sign up with your email and every time I upload a new recipe, you will get an email notification. I am also, Kim taught me how to also um, send out an email notification when I update the weekly menu. So if you would like to do that, you can head on over to my website, jonespointedplate.com, and it is right on the homepage. A little spot, you just put in your email, um, and then you'll get an email just saying, hey, did you sign up for this? You click the link, and we're all good. So if you would like to do that, I would love to have you. And I think that's it. Yeah, that's it. So the weekly topic. Now, this is not the official card. Um, I had someone who took a picture of it and sent it to me since I did not get it at my workshop. It is, and I just printed it out. Um, it is set up for success was the topic of the week. And I 100% agree because you've heard me say it before. You've heard everybody say it before. If you fail to plan, you plan to fail. You do not have to plan everything out. You don't. But if you plan a few things out to make your day go easier and to make your choices go better, you're ahead of the game. So this says, just like you decorate your home for comfort and good times, you can arrange your space to help you on your weight and wellness journey. 
In fact, studies show that our environment can impact how we act and the choices we make. So use these suggestions which help you reorganize, I'm sorry, which help you recognize and make healthy choices more easily. The first thing that they recommend, put out fruit. Grab grapes or berries from a bowl on your coffee table or your kitchen counter when you're watching TV. And this is something that I do um, a lot of times in the morning, not every day, but many days in the morning or at the night before, depending on what I need to do. I have vegetables chopped up and ready to go. Some red pepper strips, some carrots, some celery, some cucumbers. And in the morning, mid morning after breakfast, I will make a little platter Put those out sometimes with some ranch dip and I will leave them out on the counter and then if I get hungry if I get picky I have vegetables plus it helps me get more veggies in so I love that tip with the fruit and you can work it with vegetables too generally I work my fruit into my meals and into like a little snack in the afternoon sometimes but for definitely the vegetables it's a great way to get them in just you know make a little plate and leave it out on the counter and if you have young kids, put it at their height because it's amazing how many times they will pick up a veggie, a carrot stick, and you can also make them fun. I have a really cool crinkle cutter from the Pampered Chef and I like to cut my carrot sticks with the crinkle cutter because they look cute and A or B <laughs> dip sticks in the little grooves better. So, you know, it doesn't slide right off. So just a little tip there. Number two bring snacks fill your purse or office drawers or fridge with proportioned nibbles to reduce decision making later check out the back of this weekly reader for a simple recipe definitely definitely always have some point friendly snacks with you it has saved me several times um, I like to keep, I have a little, I belong to Ipsy, the little makeup, monthly makeup thing. And every month you get an adorable little makeup bag. I like to take one of those and I like to fill it with different bars that are weather friendly. Now in the winter, I can put built bars in there in the summer. Can't do that cause they'll melt. But, um, you know, a granola bar, a protein bar, a, um, what are they called? The fiber one. I don't like the fiber one, like brownies or anything they're not my thing but I like their fiber one protein bars they're two points put those in there um, little one point bags of the little pretzels that you get in the Dollar Tree um, any of those little type snacks that are low in points that if you're out if you know I always have these great intentions where I'm gonna run to the store and I'm gonna be home in a half an hour it never happens and then I find myself out and then I find myself getting hungry and I don't want to drive through a drive through or make a bad decision. So knowing I have those snacks in the car, just to curb that little bit of hunger, if I start getting hangry, it helps. And then I can make it home and make a good lunch decision. I mean, you also have to remember, hunger is not an emergency. It's not. So if you're hungry for 20 minutes, that's okay too. If you eat that one point snack and it doesn't quite do it and you have a 20 minute drive home, it's okay. It's not an emergency. You're gonna get home and you're gonna have your lunch. So just to take the little edge off, keep those snacks in your car, in your purse, in your office. Number three, simplify your morning. I am all about this, simplifying your morning. Especially if you have to leave the house and get to work. I'm fortunate I work from home. So, but I have a husband and a kid to get out in the morning. So I definitely simplify my mornings. I pack lunches the night before as much as I can. I won't make sandwiches the night before because I don't like them to get soggy. But normally my husband will take leftovers. So, you know, they're in the glass container um, for him to take. A lot of times I will, I'm not a big meal prepper because I don't really like reheated food. I will meal prep breakfast. That I can handle reheat it, like egg bites in the Instant Pot or um, pancake muffins or some kind of egg and potato and meat casserole. That I don't mind reheat it, but I don't like like big like chicken and stuff. I don't usually like that reheat it, especially in a microwave. I don't mind it sometimes on the top of the stove or in the air fryer, but I'm funny like that. 
but I do like to meal prep some breakfast stuff and I like to get that in the container ready to go in the morning. So all I have to do is grab everything out of the refrigerator. My husband takes homemade um, Greek yogurt every morning for his mid-morning snack at work. So I make sure I portion that out, put the fruit in it, things like that. I get that all ready at night. And then in the morning, you, you already know what you're taking. You, you're making good, healthy choices. It's not a scramble. It's not, oh my gosh, I don't have anything for lunch. Well, I'll order out today. You know what happens when that occurs. We tend to spend more points than we want to. So definitely try to organize yourself at night to make for a better morning. Number four, start writing. Leave a notebook and pen on your nightstand so you can write down three things you're thankful for every day. Anything from finishing a chapter of a book to catching up with a friend. And I'll take it a step further. Write down a non-scale victory that you had during the day. You know what, maybe there was a plate of cookies on your counter and you didn't touch them. Or maybe there was a plate of cookies on your counter and you had one and you tracked it. You didn't eat the whole plate. Maybe you ran into an old friend who gave you a compliment and said, wow, you look great. What are you doing? Anything. So write down what you're grateful for. Write down a non-scale victory and also write down maybe what you could have done better. You know what I could have done better today? I could have drank my water because I didn't. I didn't drink it today and I don't know why. I thought about it a couple times. I was really busy today. I thought about it a couple times and just never did it. I should have stopped what I was doing and got my water and I didn't. So tomorrow I'm getting my water in. So yes, definitely write down things you're grateful for. But I, like I said, take it a step further. Write down a non-scale victory. Write down a goal for the next day. Write down something you could have done better. That way you can reflect on it Look at it again in the morning, refresh your memory and go on. Number five, I think this one's funny. Get sneaky. You want to nosh less on certain special treats? Stash them in cabinets you don't usually open or that can be easily reached. Keep your go-to snacks at eye level. Out of sight, out of mind. If you remember, if you watch my channel, excuse me. I thought I was gonna sneeze. Uh, if you watch my channel, uh, last Saturday, we had a, our monthly collab go up and I was in charge of dessert and I made a delicious, delicious banana cake. And I can't eat an entire 15 slice cake and neither can my family in, you know, two or three days. So what did I do? I gave two pieces to Denise over at Dish with D. I gave a couple pieces to my sister and then I froze the rest. I wrapped it in saran wrap and I put it in a Ziploc bag and I put it in the freezer because if it was out in the refrigerator or on the counter, I'd be picking at it. I would be, I'm weak, but they're all wrapped up really pretty in the freezer. So if I want a piece of cake, I'm gonna have to think about it. I'm gonna have to take it out. I'm gonna have to thaw it and then I can enjoy it. But you know what? That'll make me think, do you really want this piece of cake or is it just a whim? And if I really want it, yes, I'm going to eat it and I'm going to fit it in. But if it was out in the fridge or on the counter, it would be a piece every day, maybe even two. So definitely out of sight, out of mind. You know, they also talk about queuing activity. Little thing, <laughs> place your alarm clock across the hall, across the room, not right next to you. Then you have to get up and put your workout clothes next to it. There's your motivation. Get up and work out. If you can't find time in the morning, do it when you come home. Personally for me, I have to do it in the morning. If I waited until my workday was over, it wouldn't get done. I'm an early morning workout girl. My alarm goes off at 4, 415, 420, and I'm usually downstairs and ready to stretch by like 430, 435, because if I don't do it then, it's not gonna get done. Is that for everybody? Nope, absolutely not. Some people like to go to the gym after work. Some people like to go to the gym after dinner. Some people like to go to the gym later at night. Hey, whatever works. Whenever you can get that activity in. Maybe after dinner, you like to take a walk with your family. Whenever you can get some activity in is the right time to get it in, whatever works for you. So that is the weekly this week is setting up for success. And really think about it. 
ask yourself if you do set up for success and it's little steps we can take. We don't have to go all out. We don't have to, you know, rid the house of everything non-WW and, and have all our utensils and our appliances out on the counter. We don't need to do that. It's little steps. And I think there's some really great ones on this guide and I'm kind of grateful that I do some of this stuff. And it's the little things. It's the little things that help you be successful. The little steps along the way of this journey. Because those little steps, they become habits. And once you have a habit, it's just part of your life. It really, really is. You know, when I set the table at night, um, I put out our placemats or our tablecloth. I put out our plates and our silverware. I put out my scale right next to my plate. I do. I'm really bad at estimating. I've told you guys that a hundred times before that I have portion distortion. I put out my scale. That's part of me setting the table now and it's a habit. And you know, tonight I weighed out my pork chop just to make sure it was, you know, under four ounces or under. I weighed out my sweet potato. If I didn't, oh, I would have had a lot more sweet potato. But I had what I had and it was delicious and it was satisfying. So those little habits guys that make you successful so the recipe on the back bacon pepper poppers snack lunch they're basically like little jalapeno poppers but they also tell you to pair it and make it like a little bento box they put in a mandarin orange they put in some turkey slices they put in some tomato slices and also some olives and it's really cute Probably not something I would make because I'm not a big poppers fan. Although these don't have jalapenos in them, so they probably would be good. They're just stuffed with, um, what are they stuffed with? Cream cheese and some Greek yogurt and some bacon. So they actually do sound pretty good. Might be something nice to make when you have like a little party or Super Bowl or something. Um, but it is the way they have it and the amounts they have it, it is five plant points on the green plan and four points on the blue and on the purple plan. So that is it for the weekly topic and the recipe for this week. And speaking of Super Bowl, I think I mentioned this already, but on the last Saturday, no, Sunday of this month, I think it is the 26th, uh, there will be a collab coming out for Super Bowl Treats and Eats. So keep an eye out for that. It's a couple weeks away, but there are some really good ones coming up. So I've seen the list and they're definitely good and things you'll definitely want to make for your Super Bowl party. So that is it for me. Um, that is also it for my eating today, except I probably will have, I have one more um, serving of the Jello fluff I made and it needs to get eaten today or it's gonna be thrown away. So I am going to have that for zero points at some point tonight and that will be my full day of eating thank you so much for coming along with me today and for sitting through the meeting highlights i hope i was able to help you just a little bit and i will be back on what's today's wednesday uh probably do a full day of eating tomorrow yes probably do a full day of eating tomorrow and i did have a cook with me go up a little bit earlier um, for the saltine pork chops. They're very good. They definitely need more seasoning in there though. The saltines aren't enough and I forgot to put pepper in. I was kind of keeping them basic tonight. I kept them really basic. But I think some, if you like rosemary, that looks really good in there. Any kind of seasonings you want, make sure you put them in. So that is it. Have a fantastic night. And as always, thank you so much for spending your day with me. And I will talk to you very soon.